Central Valley of California is an epicenter for life. Communities of animals and plants live together in unique ecosystems found nowhere else on the planet. In this valley woodland, the shrill cry of the western scrub jay pierces the afternoon calm. The birds collect acorns from the trees, carrying them far away to their personal caches. Many acorns will be dropped or forgotten, left to germinate in peace. Down in the leaf litter, cottontail rabbits forage for grasses and forbs. In California, dozens of creeks and rivers flow from the mountains down into the Central Valley. The rivers bring the elixir of life to the region, forging thriving ecosystems. Here, on the banks of the Kasumnis River, dense foliage clings to the shoreline. This convergence of dense woodland with the river is known as a riparian habitat. Both aquatic and terrestrial organisms depend on each other to survive. Plants provide necessary shade and shelter for fish and aquatic invertebrates. Western pond turtles use fallen tree branches for basking in the sun. Their sharp front claws and partially webbed hind feet make them well suited for both swimming and crawling through the undergrowth when the river floods. This species is threatened by habitat loss and human encroachment in the riparian zone. On the shoreline, the saturated soil is rich in nutrients from the river. Dozens of plant species capitalize on these prime conditions. A tangle of valley oaks, blackberry bushes, and wild grapes all grapple for their share of the sunlight. This is California's jungle. Birds abound in the riparian forest. Over 100 species inhabit the area. All have a distinct call. Many forage in the undergrowth where berries are ripe for the taking. California wild grapes are a preferred delicacy for many. Even poison oak has its use. Birds feast on its berries while deer and other animals eat the leaves and stems with no ill effects. Lizards soak up the dappled sunlight, always on the alert for predators, like this young Pacific gopher snake. Plants are the primary producers of the forest, forming the basis of all life here. 230 species can be found along the Kasumnas River, but of all the region's flora, one kind of tree stands out from all the rest. The valley oak tree is endemic to California's Central Valley. They are the largest hardwood trees in North America, growing about 150 feet tall or 46 meters, and they lay host to a variety of organisms that make them integral to California's riparian ecosystems. Lichens, which are composites of algae and fungi, form symbiotic partnerships with these trees. The tree offers the lichens a place to grow, while the lichens ward off invasive insects and fungal infections that could harm the tree. This colorful assemblage signals a healthy ecosystem. Insects make their homes here as well. Ants, spiders, beetles, and caterpillars live in or around these oaks. One remarkable group of insects uses the trees in the most peculiar way. Female cinnipid wasps inject their eggs into the tissue of the oak tree using a sharp ovipositor. The tree undergoes a chemical reaction to the implanted eggs and produces a large globular structure called a gall. The gall encapsulates the tiny egg and provides a source of food and shelter for the larva when it hatches. When the wasp emerges, it leaves the gall for other insects to colonize. Many different species of gall wasp rely on the valley oak to nourish their young. This species deposits its eggs in the leaves, creating a crimson cone-shaped gall. Back on the riparian shoreline, some interesting neighbors carry on with their daily lives. Animals carve out pathways to link their homes on dry ground to the underwater world. A muskrat gathers plants to bring back to her den for food and bedding. 
many birds, like this pied-billed grebe, hunt for aquatic invertebrates and small fish. In the evenings, flies, mosquitoes, and midges congregate on the water's surface. They attract a number of hungry fish, who must be wary of predators from above. The great blue heron is a master fisherman. They wait in ambush until an unlucky fish swims by, and then they strike. California's riparian habitats are rich, living systems that have proliferated for thousands of years, but their future remains uncertain. Less than 5% of the valley's original riparian forest remains, restricted to parcels of protected land along the rivers. Humans have overexploited these precious ecosystems by clearing forests and diverting waterways to make way for development and agriculture. But hope is not lost. A large body of conservation organizations, led by countless thoughtful individuals, are fighting to preserve and restore these habitats. The riparian forests of California's Great Central Valley are enormously productive ecosystems. As we've seen throughout this program, they lay host to a huge wealth of life. It is absolutely critical that we conserve these endangered places for future generations to come. For what a pity it would be if this jungle of life was lost forever. This is one of nature's living treasures. This is California's riparian wild.